Good morning, Libra. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour over here today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Libra, this is going to be your monthly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take a resonance and leave the rest behind. For that being said, if you do find that you are resonating with any of these messages, you're welcome to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button to let me know that you're resonating and enjoy my content and that you want to see more. All right, so Libra, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got for the month of August. So today we'll be using the Rider Weight deck, the Moonology deck, and these bowl of goodies, which are ruins and crystals, and yeah. All right, so let's see. Let's divide up the deck. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so Libra, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Higher Font. And you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So that tells me that you're walking away from a situation that you put a lot of effort into. Now, it could be that someone's walking away from you. Be someone's making the decision to walk away from you. And you put a lot of effort into this relationship or into this connection. And for them to just walk away is crazy to you. And you just don't understand why they would do that. So during the month of August, you're going to have some sort of decisions that are needing to be made and people could be coming to you for advice because they really need your support because you have really good advice or maybe you're just, um, they see you as someone that is very successful so they want to get advice from you. I do see you're really working hard in the month of August, whether that's in a connection, a relationship, or just like a work situation or just focusing on yourself or working really hard to do what is best for you um, but yeah and you may if this is if this isn't a connection that you're walking away from you may just see a lot of conflict and just decide that you know what I'm just gonna walk away I'm gonna do what's best for me I don't even care if I don't see the bigger picture the situation is just too stressful for me now, you do have the Tower card here, coming out as one of your first cards. You also have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, and the Hermit card. So all these cards are in reverse, so that tells me that in the month of August, you are feeling a bit lost and not really sure what to do. Um, maybe there could be some contracts that are ending for you, and that is that could be why the Three of Pentacles is here in reverse. But the Three of Pentacles in reverse also talks about divorce or um, marriage. But when it's in reverse, it's more more or less a divorce, ending of a contract uh, situation. Especially with the Tower here, it seems like everything's falling apart. And now you're just looking at everything and being like, I can't believe they did this. Like, we worked so hard to build this Tower and now all of a sudden it's crumb it's crumbling beneath my feet and i don't even know what to do i feel lost without this person this person was my everything i put my heart and soul into this connection into this foundation and now it's all over the place and i have no idea how to fix it or how to move forward from this so it does seem like you have some decision making that you're needing to do you do have the High Priestess here, which tells me that you're going to be listening to your intuition, or you're going to at least try to. Now, you do have the High Priestess here, which tells me that you could be putting someone on a pedestal. Maybe you uh, thought this person was your everything, like no one is better than this person. And that's not really true, because there could be better out there for you. You just need to find it. You know, if if this person was you know everything that you truly desired and everything that you needed in a person then they wouldn't have left you I mean I guess they would if they didn't desire you but there there is always going to be better there is plenty of people out there there are plenty of souls out there that can match their energy and be better than that person all right you just gotta focus on yourself and become more independent Figure out how to, you know, be stable in this situation rather than um, trying to find answers on why it happened. Try to find solutions. Focus on the solutions of the situation rather than 
finding answers because if you try to find answers you're going to get answers if you try to find solutions you're going to be able to resolve answers or you're going to be able to produce answers and then some you're going to start seeing the bigger picture on why things happen for a certain reason and why you know everything happens right so you do have the six of cups here in reverse so that tells me that this that this connection wasn't an equal give and take connection that someone was giving a lot more than the other person now it does that does make sense seeing how someone walked away from the situation whether you were nurturing them or whether they were nurturing you is a different story depending on who walked in this relationship now this could also be a job situation where you just got tired of working the same job and not getting paid, you know. Well, and you were getting paid, but like you weren't getting paid the amount that you truly desired or that you wanted. All right. And you're deciding, you're making the decision to walk away and try to find better in the situation or try to find a better job, try to find a better person. So that way you can move forward in a better direction in a lot happier direction rather than a direction that is, you know, not as happy or successful. All right. Yeah, someone's cutting off the connection here. You have the four of cups here. You also have the king of swords. So you there's going to be a lot of decision making in the month of August. I, fe I see that you're being very emotional. And I feel like this person was very toxic and you are releasing the toxicity or at least a codependent relationship which is really good but you're just not really sure what direction you want to go in because like I said this person was your everything and now everything is just ending and this like so the main part of your spread is the ten of swords like that's right that's directly in the middle so this August is going to be about endings so ending of old cycles and start starting of new one. Now this could also be that you know someone betrayed your trust and said they were going to do something and they didn't end up doing it and they did the exact opposite and they you know slept with you know your best friend or whatever it may be. But I do see you manifesting new things into your life. But like I said, you just need to make that decision in order to move forward and stop looking back at the past and waiting on this person to move forward in your life because if you keep looking back at the past and you know trying to manifest this person back into your life all you're going to get is this karmic energy that is not that is not good for you all right you don't want this karmic energy you you don't you don't want them back trust me they are the devil they are the devil in the upright if they come back they're going to be very toxic and the connection is going to be even more codependent than it already was you released it or someone released it and now you're seeing that you're feeling a lot better without them you know you're releasing that toxic energy from your life and you're doing what's best for you yeah you don't want to hear that this person was toxic you don't want to hear that but I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to give you advice on how to improve yourself. You know, you you don't come to me and, you know, ask for what you want to hear. You ask for what you need, what you desire, right? What you truly desire, not what you think you need, all right? You, you're, you come to me looking for answers, all right? And I tried it my best to give you guys the answers that you need in order to move forward. Like I said, I just, I, le I read what the cards tell me. and So that way you can prepare yourself for the future. Now, like I said, or not like I said, if you know anything about Tarot, it only resonates if you want it to resonate. If you don't want it to resonate that way, make a change. Change it, you know. Do something about it. Make a stand. But the tarot does come true a lot. Because we don't understand that we can change how we perceive things. How we look at things. Alright? And yeah, it, it may not turn out exactly how I'm saying it. 
but it may turn out exactly how the cards are saying it just the way i'm interpreting the cards may be a little bit different but a, a bit similar to your situation if that makes sense all right so you could be dealing with any sign because you do have you know all the cards here all the elements here i do see you really trying to manifest something back into your life or something into your life in the month of august so, so for some of you you're going to be manifesting new things new opportunities new desires and making a lot of decisions in the month of august while others are going to be hung up on the past and trying to manifest this person back into their life this toxic toxic person that is no long that is not good for them and they shouldn't be in their life anyways but they're going to manifest them back and they're going to come back and i wouldn't be surprised if you know they show show up back in you know september you know crying for you uh wishing that you would come back or whatever um but yeah you could be dealing with any sign um but let's move on to your crystals all right okay so you have protection here, so you are going to be protected, and this is also my pathway ruin. So you have, you know, four paths that you can take. You can either take the path that leads back to where you came from, or you can take the left path, the right path, or the straight path, and keep heading forward. So that's that. So that's your decisions. Talking about decisions again, confirming that, you know, there's going to be a lot of decisions for you. In the month of August now you have intuition here the desert rose so really focus on your intuition you may want to carry you know some clear quartz some rose quartz what any type of quartz um, or some desert rose so that way you can really listen to your intuition and that way you can know what to expect in the future and make clear headed decisions in a month that's based totally on decisions now you do have the clear quartz here, so like I said, intuition is needing to be on point in the month of August because that's going to be your month of making decisions. And how you're going to move forward in that month is how you're going to move forward for the rest of the months to come. Now you do have this black gem, I forget what it's called, but I'm sure one of you guys could figure it out um we also have gateways so new opportunities are coming towards you and something is right over the horizon so keep moving forward you have fertility here so some of you may be getting pregnant and maybe that's why you don't want to lose this person because you don't want to you know you don't want to have this baby without you know the father being in you know both your guys's life but people still manage to have a family and not be with the father or the mother whatever your circumstances um it's going to be hard because you spent so much time working on this connection and for them to just throw it out the window is like insane all right you also have your sacral chakra here as well so with your sacral chakra being here, that tells me that you could be dealing with some abdominal pain because your sacral chakra and your solar plexus are right next to each other. So, um, and that is also where you know the baby is going to be, you know, right in that area, right. So, um, make sure your ba baby is healthy if you are pregnant. Um, you may be finding out if it's a boy or a girl. Or something along the lines of you know what it, asking yourself what to do with the baby if you want to keep it if you want to you know get rid of it that's up to you that soul will always be with you no matter what whether you have this baby in this lifetime or another lifetime is two different stories right but that soul will always be with you so if you if you don't have this baby in this lifetime you will have this baby in another lifetime 
that is better suited for this baby. Now, you can also bring this soul into this lifetime, but if you don't do it, you can also bring the soul back into this lifetime just by having another child because that soul stays with you so even if you have another child you will have that soul once again so it's like you never lost it although you may put a lot more care into this child you know you may nurture them a little bit more than your other children just because they are your firstborn or just because you are overcompensating because you lost your last child and you know, you're wanting to nurture and love this one even more than you would have if you had that one. But it's the same soul, just a different child with a different person or the same person, whichever um, works out for you. Right? Um, but uh, yeah, so let's get into the Moonology cards. This is, this is a kind of a long reading. And I kind of messed up earlier and I... Uh, I did Scorpio's reading instead of uh, instead of your reading, so your reading's actually gonna be on Tuesday instead of Monday. But either way, it's, it's all good. It's all good as long as it gets done, right? As long as it gets done. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Libra, Libra, Libra. What do we got for Libra for the month of August? a win-win outcome is forecast so whatever it is that you choose to do it looks like you're winning the end of a tough cycle approaches awesome that's awesome so libra that's great news so whatever you decide you don't really need to stress about it too much obviously there's going to be a lot of stress and you know that can be bad for the baby so try not to stress too much about this situation I understand that you're going to have a lot of decisions that you're going to be going to be making in the month of August, but it's good news because no matter what you decide, it's going to be good. All right. So whatever you choose to do is going to be what's best for you and what's best for that child. Okay. So Libra. That's going to be your reading for today. I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really do appreciate it. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. If you would like to follow me on, on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description box below. If you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button. It will take you to a whole bunch of videos on my channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.